There exists, therefore, an ex a central tension in comics between the word and the image, between the writer and the artist. Uh, this is sort of analogous to the situation in film, between film's images and its words. Uh, you know, a director might want a great image in a film, but a writer says, you know, God, I had that great speech and now it's being interrupted by all these shots of flowers. And, you know, it's greatly artistic, but so what? I had a great speech in there. There's an essential tension in both of these media between the, the image and the word. One could say the image is primary in comics in the sense that the image must exist. In other words, words are optional in comics. Similarly, words are optional in film. There are silent movies. Uh, but comics are also, as I mentioned, a reading experience. And I think in some sense this experience of reading alone, of reading with the cracked book in front of you, dominates. Now, of course, this is changing as we move into a digital world, but for now, this is the case. Most comics, like films, are also narrative. And because they're narrative, in some sense, the writer dominates. And this is reflected in the various cults of successful comics writers in America especially in the last two decades or so.